In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add outcomes to your Canvas course. You wanna go over here to outcomes, click that. You have three choices, import, create, and find. And I'm gonna go over the first one is the easiest to the hardest one, which is the importing. Um, so if you click here to find, you're gonna click that. As long as your district has standards that they have put into um, the Canvas platform, you should be good to go. So in Elkhart, we have that. If you go to account standards, click Elkhart Community Schools, click Indiana, then academic standards, and then you can find your content that you teach. So for ELA, I'll do English 1112, and then I'm gonna either add them separately or I can add all outcomes here. Once I've added one, or added all of them. I can hit done here. And they should be in your outcomes right here. So if I go to academic standards, they're right here, ELA, right there. Now, the downside to this is that if I go to the standard I just imported and I click edit, I can't do anything here except add a friendly description. So if I want to rename this instead of having it be RV.2.1, I can't do that. So my other option is to create my own outcomes. And this is the second easiest. You can see Canvas has recently updated how the outcomes creating outcomes look. So it makes it a lot easier. You have your name, the friendly name and then a description of your outcome and then the friendly description for what parents and students see. Um, so you can have the options to change this to maybe if you don't like exceeds mastery and you want that to be mastery, I can change that there, I can delete this. method which you have these options here so if you don't know what the n number of times means you can click that and it will give you an example what the item scores would be and what the final score would be so you can decide what the calculation method um, you prefer and then the location of where you want the standard to be so that's how you create and then the final option is to import uh, so when you click import, it's going to ask you for the um, CSV file. We have a template that you can use. So on this spreadsheet, uh, if you put in here the title of your outcome, the description, and the display name, if you just edit those, I'm going to click here first. So you're going to start here. There's a how to use it to. If I just add those and then after I'm done adding, I'm going to do once I'm done with all my standards and if I want to put them in folders you can do that here uh, I'm going to go to start here and then last step create IDs it's gonna run that for me and then I'm going to file download as a CSV and I'm gonna go back to canvas and drag that over. Once I'm imported, if I click on that Canvas homepage here, it will show me right here, it's standard one description of standard is what I imported from the spreadsheet. If it gave you an error saying that there was any issues with uploading it to Canvas, it probably just means that they were looking for some other standards that you don't have filled out, which is okay. So the one I did have typed out is right here. And the nice thing with importing is that you can copy and paste really easily all in the spreadsheet. And I can click on this edit here and then edit, oh, I spelled description wrong, um, edit my standard right here. So even though I imported it, I can still edit that standard. So those are the three ways that you can import outcomes. And then you also have up here, it says alignment. So you can click that and it will show you what you have in your course aligned with those outcomes that you have selected, created. So for this one I just imported, I have nothing aligned, but for this outcome, it's 
geometry one, you can see all of the alignments that I have for this geometry standard. And I can click on it if I want to go to that assignment or that quiz, and you can see right here where the quiz is and what outcomes you have.